What's good, everybody? It's your boy Rio West. You tuning in to Rio West Gaming, and it's been a minute since I dropped the tutorial, but I'm back with another Madden 25 tutorial. This one, um, is just a basic way to show you how to read the defense. If you don't know what the defense is in, or if you don't know what you're up against, or what play to call against certain defensive formations, defensive looks, that's what this video is about to be for. It's not gonna be nothing in depth. It's just gonna be the basics. The basic things to look for to decipher what defense your opponent is in. So I'm going to get into a couple plays and then we'll break it down. All right. So first off, out the gate, what you want to look at is how many safeties you have back in the backfield. So if you have two safeties back in the backfield, it could be one of two things. Your opponent can either be in a cover four or they can be in a cover two. Now, the way to determine if they're in a cover four is if those cornerbacks are lined up over the receivers are lined up about 10 yards off of the receiver that means they're in a cover four if they're lined up about five yards off of the receiver that means they're in a cover two so looking at the lineup right now you could tell the defense is in a cover four and i'll show the play art so you can see and they're in a cover four now again if they're in a cover two they'll be lined up about five yards off of the receiver so i'm gonna go ahead and audible to a cover two and as you can see, still two safeties deep, except for now the, co the corners are about five yards off of the wide receivers. Now, if there's one safety in the backfield, that's one of two things. They're either in a cover one or they're in a cover three. So as you can see, this one, they're in a cover one. There's one safety back. And also when you get in cover three, looks the same, but they're in a cover three again. If there's one safety back there, they're either in a cover one or they're in a cover three. If there's two safeties back there, they're either in a cover four or they're in a cover two. So now I'm about to show you how you can tell if, say, your opponent comes out of the huddle and immediately presses up against your receivers. Now I'm about to show you what to do or how to diagnose the defense if they come immediately out of the huddle and press up on your receivers to be able to decipher what type of defense they're in. So go ahead and press right now we're in our cover four as you can see if they're in a cover four or a cover three and they press up over your receivers the dbs or the corners will be directly lined up across over the top of the receivers should i say so if they're in a cover four or a cover three and they press coming out of the huddle your cornerbacks will be aligned directly over the top of the receiver so you can see we're in cover four they're lined up directly over the top audible to a cover three press and as you can see lined up directly over the top again so if they're in a cover two and, and they press the corners will be aligned over the top but towards the outside shoulder of the receivers like you see pictured above if they're in man the corners will be aligned up to the inside shoulder of the defense. Like you see above. So you see we're in cover two man. They lined up to the inside shoulder of the receiver. Cover two zone. Lined up over the outside shoulder of the receiver. Cover four press. Lined up directly over the top of the receiver. Cover three press, lined up over the top of the receiver. And another way, another tactic, you can decipher how how to tell if they're in man defense. So I'm going to audible to man. And say we back off. Say, say they're backed off. They come out, they're backed off. You don't know if they're in man. You don't know if it's cover four. Because right now with them backed out, off, it looks like they're in cover four but they're in cover two man. So how you can tell, now I tried to show this in my college football 25 tutorial version of how to read a defense, but they wouldn't let me, but Madden's gonna let me. So to be able to diagnose pre-snap, if um, your def the defense is in man, simply motion a receiver, and if the defender travels with them, then you know he's in man.
like so. Now see, at first it was the linebacker, but you see the cornerback followed him over. I don't know why it wigged out like that, but you can see. He's in man defense, and he's following him. When they're following him like that, that means they're in man. So now, on defense, I'm going to audible to a zone to show you the difference. So now, we're going we're going back to our cover four. Get him back along. And now, we're going to motion that guy again and watch what happens. See, nobody follows him. Somebody picks him up, but a defender doesn't stick with him and follows him. He gets passed off. That's how you can tell when they're in a zone. So again, if they're in man coverage and you send your receiver in motion and a man goes with them, that means they're in man. If you send your receiver in motion and nobody goes with them, but somebody picks them up on the opposite side, well, that means they're in a zone defense. So again, from the top, if there's two safeties back, it's either cover four or cover two. If they're ten, if the cornerbacks are ten yards off of the receiver, that means it's a cover four. If they're five yards off the receiver, that means they're in cover two. If it's one safety high, that means they're either in cover three or they're cover one. If they come out and they press, if they're lined up directly over the top of the receivers, that means it's going to be a cover four or a cover three. If they come out and they press, and they're lined up to the outside shoulder of the receiver, that means they're in a cover two. If they're lined up to the inside shoulder, that means they're in a man defense. So that'll be it. There's more in-depth ways and tips and tricks on how to diagnose specifics, like um, as far as uh, match defense and all that. That I'm going to save that for another time. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to start doing more in-depth stuff like that. But for the time being, that's just the basics. That's just the basis for people that don't know too much about reading defense and they run into challenges playing online head to head against other opponents that happen to be like competitive opponents. So that's going to be it. If you made it this far and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that notification tab so you can stay up to speed with all things Rio West Gaming, all things Madden 25, Esports College Football 25, and so on and so forth. For the time being, that's been my time. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Until next time, peace.